and welcome back to my channel. This is the very first 2018 makeup video and I am so excited to continue on my journey here on YouTube. Um, for today's look, I did create a rose gold smoky eye for you. Um, I went ahead and used this palette. It's the Too Faced Chocolate Gold Palette and the inside looks like this. And um, I went ahead and used mainly this corner right here, uh, transition shade, and then my brow bone and the color that I applied on the lid. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I definitely loved how this eye look turned out. Do you guys want to see how I created this look? Then just please keep on watching and don't forget to subscribe at the end of the video. We are going to start off by priming our eyelids. I'm going to be using a concealer. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in Sand. And I'm just going to go ahead and apply this all over the base of the eye. And then taking a concealer brush or if you have a foundation brush like this one, you can go ahead and start blending that onto the crease so that we can go ahead and make sure everything is nice and coated. To set the concealer in place, I'm going to be picking up this shade called Rolling in Dough in the Too Faced palette and just applying it generously around the base of the eye to set that concealer in place. Next, I like to take a little bit of scotch tape and place it at the edges of my eyes. This will just give us that perfect cat eye look that we want. And now I'm picking up the shade So Bougie in the Too Faced palette and just blending that onto the crease just to make sure that we have that transition shade before placing the rest of our colors. Going back into the palette, I'm gonna take the color Cocoa Truffle on my Morphe M533 brush, and I'm just gonna work this color onto the crease, but just a little bit under that color that we placed to make sure that we can start deepening up that crease color. that I'm gonna be picking up is the color Mocha, but it's from the Jaclyn Hill palette because the Too Faced palette did not have um, a color similar to this one, so that's the only one that I took from there. And I pretty much just focused this color on the outer corners of the eyes to give us that nice cat eye effect. doing the same thing just on the other eye and then um, I did bring it into the crease a little bit just to continue to add a little more definition here I'm just going back in with the color so bougie from the Too Faced palette and I'm just blending in all the colors to make sure everything is blended and there is a gradient effect with all of the shadows so that they don't look patchy Taking a small tapered blending brush like this one, I'm going to go ahead and pick up the color Decadent from the palette and I'm going to start running that along the lash line to give myself a smoky winged eyeliner look. If you struggle doing eyeliner, this is a very helpful tool, especially because the tape is just a straight line so there is no messing this up. So when you go in with the liquid liner, it'll be on point. Now that we have blended all of that together, we can go ahead and start removing the tape. And I'm going to be picking up a little bit of my concealer and a small shader brush. And I'm going to start carving out my eyelid. Doing this will help clean up that area and make sure that our color for our shimmer, when we apply it on, sticks on and it's super nice and vibrant. into the palette with the color Classy and Sassy. We're going to go ahead and pick up a flat shader brush and we're going to start applying this all over our lid. Just make sure you stay away from the area on the corner where it's darker, but you want to pack this color on because it's going to be pretty much the star of the show. And um, I did end up spraying my brush with a little bit of Fix Plus just to enhance that pigment because I realized that just using it by itself it wasn't helping. Here I'm just taking a Morphe brush and I'm just blending the crease because I did get a little bit of um, color up there. Taking the color in light from the Jaclyn Hill palette, I'm going to be using this color to highlight my brow bone, so just do that on both sides. Moving on to the face, we're going to go ahead and use the Maybelline Master Strobing Liquid. I am in the shade 300 Deep Gold and this is just going to give us a nice glow before applying our foundation. 
primer, I'm taking the Milani Prime Shield. This just helps minimize the appearance of pores and it keeps me mattified throughout the day. So I really like using this product. And to lock in a little bit of more moisture onto the skin, I'm gonna go in with my favorite Mario Badescu Rose Water, just a few spritz and it'll do the trick. Foundation I'm going to be using today is this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I'm in the shade Desert Beige and I love using this little spatula to just apply it all over my face. Then taking a dome flat brush, I'm going to go ahead and start blending this out making sure that it is nice and seamless on the skin. Before applying my concealer, I am going to go in with the City Color Photo Chic Dark Spot Corrector. It is just a salmon shade and I'm picking it up in a concealer brush and I'm just going to start applying this in the areas where I would usually have like dark circles and would apply my concealer. So that is what I'm doing now. And then taking my Beauty Blender, I'm just going to start blending that into the skin to make sure it is nice and blended. Now that we have brightened up that area, I'm going to be taking my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and this is in the shade Sand and we're going to just apply this under our eyes, the bridge of our nose, on our forehead and our chin. Now that our concealer is on, I'm just going to pick up my Beauty Blender and I'm just going to go ahead and blend all of that out. To set that concealer in place, I'm going to be taking my Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. I am in the shade 10, which is fair light, and I'm picking it up in a beauty blender and just applying it in the areas where we concealed. So under our eyes, on our chin, bridge of the nose, and our forehead. I literally use my beauty blender for everything. It helps for foundation, for concealer, to set your under eyes, so it is definitely a tool that I would suggest everyone should have in their makeup bag if you're going to be traveling. Moving on to contour, I'm going to be taking my Wet n Wild Contour Stick. This is in the shade Where's Walnut. And I'm just placing this all over the areas where I'm going to be applying bronzer later. And I just want a little bit more definition. So on the cheekbones, on the bridge of the nose, and on my jaw. To blend out my contour, I am going to go and spray my dome brush with a little bit of Mario Badescu Rose Water. And when you're blending, make sure you're going upwards and not in circular motions because you do not want to disturb the product and you do not want to end up with patchy or muddy skin later once we set it. So make sure you're blending that upwards. And moving on to my nose contour, same step, just taking a smaller angled brush and I'm just going to go ahead and blend out my nose contour. To set my contour in place, I'm going to be taking MAC Give Me Sun. This is a very pretty warm bronzer. I definitely love using this. It's literally one that I can use all year round, but again, I'm also tan, but it just gives me the perfect sun-kissed glow. And don't forget to set your nose contour as well, so I am doing that here. The blush that I am using today is this one from Tarte. It is called Dazzled and it is just a very pretty pinky shade and it looks very, very nice on all skin tones. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply this on the tops of my cheeks. The 
the first highlight that I'm going to be using is this one by Becca Cosmetics. It's in the shade Champagne Pop. And I absolutely love this one. Like, just look at how much it shines and it brings out your features. And it is just nice and champagne color, as the name states. <laughs> so, I really like using this color. And since we all strive to look like glazed donuts, I'm gonna be picking up my Revolution Vivid Baked Highlighter. This is in the shade Golden Lights. And I'm just gonna go ahead and highlight the areas that I previously highlighted just to intensify that glow. Taking the color in light again from the Jaclyn Hill palette, I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this on the inner corners of the eyes. This will just make sure our eyes are nice and open, especially since we do have that smoky eye going on. We do wanna have that doe-eyed effect on our eyes. To finish up our eye look, I'm gonna go in with a penciled brush and the shade Cocoa Truffle, and I'm just gonna run this along the lash line, just giving us a nice blown out, smoky lower lash line. Next, I'm picking up the color Classy and Sassy that we used on our lid, and I'm just running that like a little bit after our tear duct, just to tie everything in together. We always wanna mimic what we have going on on the top and the bottom. Next, I took the color Decadent just to intensify that lower lash line, and I'm just placing that color around the outer corners. At this point, you're ready for some falsies if that's what you prefer. I'm just gonna go ahead and coat mine with some mascara. The mascara I used is the Maybelline Lash Sensation and now I'm just gonna go ahead and set my brows with the give me brow I just like using this product because it keeps my eyebrows in place and it also brightens them up a little bit moving on to lips I'm gonna be taking this NYX suede lip pencil it is in the shade mauve and it is just a nice pinky tone and so I'm gonna go ahead and lip line using this lip liner and then I'm gonna be applying my lip color over top Now that our lips are aligned, I'm going to go in with the Kat Von D Bow and Arrow Liquid Lip and I'm just going to apply a coat of this onto the lips. I wanted to add a little bit of gloss onto the lips, so I'm going to be taking the KKW and Kylie Cosmetics lip gloss in Kimberly and I'm just gonna apply a little bit of this onto the center of the lips to make them more pouty and full. Now that we are all done, I'm gonna go ahead and set my face. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. I definitely love this, especially if you have oily skin. It keeps your makeup intact. But yeah, this finalizes the look. I hope you guys enjoyed how this turned out. And don't forget to comment or give it a like if you guys enjoyed the video. And stay tuned for more. Thank you.